Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. Oh, I did. I'm just being funny. But hello everyone, welcome, and this is going to be a tutorial on how to get into Neos. So, say you hop into a world, you're just starting, you don't want to meet people, you might be a bit shy, or maybe you just don't know how to get to everybody, this video will at least be a general overview of how to have a nice first day in Neos, which is really important because people will come here on the first day and it's like, I can't move, or I don't know, how do I do the thing? And they're like, <laughs> So, it really helps in the long run for certain things. So, first thing that we're going to do is, when you first start Neos, what you're going to see is the dash. There's now a black thing in front of my face. That's okay, because you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to close it, and then I'm going to switch to smooth POV so you can actually see what I'm looking at. So, this is going to be the dash. You're going to be seeing all kinds of stuff, like logout, online, data stuff, and whatnot for the most part. But don't worry about that, because what this does, it just gives you a general overview of your controls your core worlds and general stuff you can do to get started and a lot of in, uh, important tools. This may change in the future in some form, so if this tutorial is dated, don't mind it, but a lot of the general principles will still be here. So, first things first, you get into a social VR game, you want to get your avatar set up, right? So, what you're going to want to do is after knowing how your controls work, please mess with it a little bit and kind of get comfortable. If you're not comfortable and then you complain, I get it, but at least we'll teach you why in doing things to help. So, first what we're going to do is once you know your controls and get a little bit comfortable with it, what you want to do is go to your file browser. By going to your file browser, what you can do is find it opens up your file explorer on your computer. By doing this, you'll be able to find all kinds of stuff and things that you would normally want to do or interact with. So for right now, I'm going to import one of my my models, I think. I'll just re-import this one if I can find it real quick. Risk of Rain, Blends. I'm a big Risk of Rain fan. Did I put myself in here? I did. Okay, cool. So quickly, we're just going to import uh, this by first finding the thing, double-clicking it, for file imports and stuff, we get stuff like blends, FBXs, anything that Asimp supports, Neos will support in some form. So like OBJs, Days, FBXs, blends. Uh, I think Zays might be supported in some form. Don't quote me. I don't remember them all off the top of my head. There's just a lot of file types. Anyways, so typically what you want to do on your first day is after this is done, you have this importing. Like I'm importing a model right now. Let me get that out of the way. You're going to do 3D model, regular, Auto scale, advanced settings, and by then after doing advanced settings, maybe you don't want to mess with it, that's fine, but I'm doing this as just a general help and overview. What you want to do is import external textures, place assets on object, and then possibly switch your material either to Z's tune, flatlit, specular, depends on what you prefer. If you have a more cartoony, I recommend Z's tune or flatlit. If you have a more realistic character, I recommend metallic or specular. So I don't know if this was added yet. Nope, it was not. So what we're going to do is just do flatlit tune for right now and then run import. You're going to see this import indicator pop up. And then we're going to wait for it to import. And after imports, what we're going to do is while this is going on, we're going to go back to our home bar here and find the avatar creator. By having this here, you can now set up your avatar and have stuff do for the most part. So as we wait for it to import, oh no, all the materials are broken, but that's okay. Cause what we're going to do is we can actually just apply textures later and you don't have to worry about it too much. Um, if you don't know how to set up your avatar, do not worry. We will also show you later where you can find and meet people by these orbs up here so that you could have somebody help you out at least in some form. Cause generally everyone else will help you get your avatar set up at least, at least for the first day. So I'm going to turn on some few settings. Make sure you have tool anchors because you want to at least always adjust those when you ever make an avatar. Some of the default ones aren't the best for uh, optimal Neos experience. So what we're going to do is, you know, I'm sure this is in the MTC. Everybody does the thing. Oh, I'm grabbing the wrong thing. We're going to take this. I'm going to scale it down real quick. And I'm just going to put the head here. And then take this and then put the hands where they need to go. So generally, you can kind of just like rough guesstimate this. It doesn't have to be super accurate, and it'll take and pick up the right targets and stuff for the most part. But I am a bit of a super duper accurate freak with some stuff like this because with rigging and bones, stuff can get really janky really fast. So I actually have a tip that I'll use for this, but for now, I'll just show you guys how to do it at the get-go. Um, there's a lot of different tools that I can make stuff like this a lot faster. So... I'm going to manually do it and then show the tip after and tool. 
So then by doing this, after having this set up, what you want to do is you want to take the grab orb. This is the grabber. This is how you'll be grabbing things in EOS. And please put them in the palm. If you don't put them in the palm, it's up to your decision. But I recommend the palm because it just makes it easy. If I want to grab something, I just put my hand up to it and I grab it. It just makes it really easy, really convenient, really simple. And then for the tooltip, I recommend putting this near your pointer finger or wherever you find comfy. By doing this, you'll be able to just aim at something, point and click. It works easy. You don't have to think about it. Tool shelf, I also recommend pulling up a little bit just so that you can kind of like not have it hit something because if, if there's a collider in the way or just something blocking the laser, it makes it really tricky and troublesome in the long run of things. So now we have the avatar here. Yeah, I'm a little shiny. Don't worry about it. Let me back up here a little bit in my POV here. And then after this is done, what we're going to do is we're going to hit protect avatar. By doing this, it makes it so that only you yourself can wear the avatar and save the avatar. It's very important. A lot of people will put on objects they don't want to share. Um, this may change in the future with object ID or marketplace. So be wary, but this is a very core crucial thing that prevents your avatar from being stolen in Neos. So after doing that, we'll hit create. And then I got a little, I got a little doll. I got a little me. Oh boy. So you might run into this issue where the materials might be fucked up in your avatar. So what you want to do is use the dev tip, open your context menu, open the inspector, and then find the mesh. By finding the mesh, you'll know where the body is. If you noticed how I said import assets, you can actually also see all the materials here. But I'm going to go off the general sense that maybe you didn't do that or maybe you didn't follow that. So what we can do now is we notice everything's really bright and shiny, but the material, the textures are missing. So we're going to go to our file browser, find where the textures might be, and find what we're missing. Usually the name stuff will match up for the most part and it makes it very easy and helpful. So this is just my general texture. I'm pretty sure there's also two more. Not that one. One second. Let's see. I might have to get the FPX in instead. You know what? I'm going to import this real quick. Because if I take this and I zap that and close this, you'll start to see a semblance of an avatar in some form, bit by bit. So we'll take the eyes out, do that. So by how I'm doing this is what I'm doing is I'm holding this in my left hand. And then with the laser, I'm zapping the parts of the material uh, texture, adding the texture. And I'll just automatically zap it. It's really handy. That might import with the proper materials though. Yep, they imported with the proper materials, but that's okay because you know what I can do now and show you guys on how to do this is Rig transfer tip. This is very handy if you ever want to update a rig or transfer something onto something But actually, you know what? I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the materials from here Quickly I'm gonna go centered root root node man body, so I'm just gonna take all of these Select and then map body, map body, map cape, map cape. This is very important if you know how to do your references. If you haven't seen my last tutorial, I recommend that Refer referencing in Neos is very important because what I'm doing is I'm just grabbing the indicator with my controller and then just bringing it over and setting it where I need to, and then map arms mask. And then this one, nope, wrong one. And then that one. Cool. We can get rid of this. Yeah, the materials and the thing might look fucked up, but that's okay. The first avatar will always have some jank until you get comfortable and used to the process. Plus, you just want to use it just until you can meet people and kind of like get used to what's going on. There's me normally, but now here is very fudged up me. I'll spawn a mirror here real quick for you guys. I look horrible, my visine's picked up, my eyes are a little wonked, but that's okay. You'll run into this sometimes, and this is actually a very easy fix. All I have to do is select my head, find my eye manager, and just turn off the rotation of the swing to like zero, and then I'll just reset it. You don't want to just destroy it because it'll just corrupt stuff for the most part. Let me go back to 30. 
and then turn the scale off to zero. There we go. So, while I might look really crunchy and my normals would look fucked up, that's okay. So, stuff like this is really important. Now, if you ever enter a situation where you have hair in front of your face or it's blocking your view, what you want to do is find your avatar, select the avatar, go all the way up to the ob- Oh, I'm selecting the camera. Oh -ho. Go to the avatar, come up here, find your head proxy, select it, hit the star to make a new child, and name it Avatar Clip. Avatar Clip I do not recommend, but it's very handy in situations where, like, say, maybe your avatar doesn't have the best rig, or there's just something jank going on, and you just want to be able to see with the avatar. I'm spelling it wrong. Good job, me. Okay, cool. So, by doing that... Then what you want to do is attach component, users, common avatar system, avatar render settings. You don't want to set this number too high because that can break maps. And you don't want to break maps. Because if you want to experience them really nice, it's really handy. So like a good measure of like 0.1 or 0.25 can help. While you don't visibly see the effect, um, I could basically push my head target. Wait one sec, I'll show you this real quick actually. Let me find my target real quick. Select myself here. So it might be a little tricky. I think I can get it. And then I can just push myself slowly forward, and you can see my goggles. Now, this can help for emergence sometimes, but some people just really don't like this. So I don't generally do it on mine because it gets annoying because it gets really like, shaky and draggy. But you can do it, and Avatar Clip can help in some forms in that way where stuff like that appears, and you don't want it. So yeah. So now that we have an Avatar, we now are all comfortable, a little bit set up. You can do some stuff and whatnot. We're going to delete this. Delete that and delete that. What you want to do is you want to come to your inventory here. Make sure this is open. If not, you can find it in the dash by opening your dash by hitting your menu button and then coming into inventory. If you hit the blue download button here, that will download the current avatar you're in and have it saved to your account. Now, if you did not make an account, please make an account. If you don't know how to make an account while playing an online game, play more online games. So, now that this is actually like this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and then hit the heart icon. By doing this, it'll favor the avatar every time I hop into a world. This is the avatar I will be loading. So, now that we're generally set up, you want to now meet people. You want to go out. Or maybe you want to build stuff. If you want to build stuff, I will not be explaining that in this video. But at some point, you'll have a general idea of what you need to do. By looking at tutorials, talking to people, or even just hopping into a world and building with somebody in EOS. Because that's where it's really at. Also, I'm going to hop out of this avatar because it don't look good. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Actually, you know what? Here, let's make this a little more fun for you guys. So, this avatar is garbage. I do, And we are going to throw it out of the tra into the trash. Where is this? So, I got a trash can here. I, I have a feeling you guys know what's going to happen. Goodbye! I took out the trash. Anyways, so now that what we're going to do is now that your avatar is set up and now that you're comfortable for the most part, there's some other tweaks that you could do. Like, say you want custom name tags. and You don't see a name tag above my head right now. But if you look over there, I can click on that name. That's a name tag. And then, oh, hey, look, it's a robot account that I have for my headless stuff. Headless, I'll explain at some point in another video if I ever get the chance to, but do not worry about that right now. So, what we're going to do is now I want to go meet people. Now I want to go find people. Now I want to go do things. I want to go explore the metaverse, right? Well, in my world, I could just do this and click on a thing because I set it up to make it nice and easy. But if you don't know how to get to it, it's very problematic. And a lot of the first new days on users for people they'll just hop into one of these purple orbs and just not meet anybody. And it's a little depressing because like, you're like, oh man, there's nobody here, but there's actually a lot of people here and a lot of people don't realize. So let me turn off my UI real quick. There we go, cool. So now, 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 I'm gonna go to inventory here. Actually, no, I need my UI. <laughs> and let me turn off the thing I need. Okay, let's switch back to Smooth POV. So what you want to do is access your inventory. Let me not use the old one since that will be going away. We're going to go to your inventory here. And then what we're going to go to is the Neos Essentials folder. Once you're signed in and you have access to these folders, you'll be able to find this. You'll either see something called a session joiner 
or maybe they change up the name, or maybe even the world action interactions will change at some point too. Um, they are expected to change in some capacity, but for right now, this is like a good, easy go-to. Um, what you'll probably see is like a world browser in some form, so it'll just help out in the long run of things. So what you want to do is spawn the session browser. You'll see a bunch of stuff over here. I recommend this one real quick. I'll delete that one. You'll, it'll be in a nice circle. I see these. So if you see a purple orb, that means nobody is in there. But if you see a pink orb and there is a number there, that means that there is somebody there you can go meet and see. So please go to these pink orbs. You'll meet people. You'll interact with them. You'll do all kinds of stuff. It's nice, fun, and you get some nice, cool building social interaction. So besides that for your first day, the other thing you need to be aware of is public folders. Now in Neos, you don't have to worry too much about avatar worlds or like gimmick worlds in some point because what you can do essentially is you can go to your inventory here let me switch this with UV. go to your inventory here right and select a folder hit, hit this little icon here and i now have a folder i can share with you that i can upload to and everything i update or change in that folder will propagate to everybody else who has this folder it's really handy and you can do all kinds of stuff with it so like in my Turk Luka Publica, I have like a bunch of tools, a bunch of toys, and a bunch of all kinds of other stuff that just makes stuff easier and cool in the long run of things. Like I have stuff for gestures, I made my gesture system. Um, I have tools I've made, like logics material and some other stuff. Um, I even have the equip system I made that's in the Neos Essentials, which really helps too. Um, so in the long run of things, public folders are what you'll see in Neos, and some they may go away at some point, or they may be replaced by something even better. But for the long run, if you join Neos, you're going to see public folders around. If you ever see one of these, nab them and save them, because this will be your main interaction of just finding new and cool things that people will make an update, or if they, I like th pr throw out an update for something and I just want people to know in some form. <clears throat> so... Now that we have explained public folders, if you want to find these public folders, typically where you want to go is you want to go find the directory. Just type in this into your world browser. This may change in the future. If it's similar, it should still work for the most part. I won't spell, almost spelled the word I am trying to say. Probable, 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 prime, cool. So what you want to find is by probable prime the directory. The directory will have all the public folders that the community gets together, sets up, and uses because it makes it very easy for everybody to get people's folders instead of like, hey, can I get your public folder? Hey, can I get your public folder? It just makes a nice, easy interaction, and you don't have to bug everybody about it. just like, I just want this, I just want this. Some people also have your public folders in their own worlds, which makes it a lot easier. And it lets people get their name known, they want to share things, they just want to create. And that's what Neos is generally for the most part. It's just you get together, you, you make some cool shit, and it's a lot of fun. Camera, where are you? Camera, come back. Thank you. I've missed you. So for the most part, Neos is a very fun interactive experience, and you can meet and do quite a lot of things. Like, for example, I'll show a couple toys before we go. Like, I can just spawn this fly, let it go, and it just flies around my face. Or I have this fish, chomp. It's now chomped onto me. Or let me see. Let me check out my all my little toy folder over here. Or I can just grab a little party popper and go poggers. What else we got? Like you, I, I I completely expect though for people's first day, people would just come up to you and just give you like a bunch of toys and be like, hey, 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 hey. wait, shit, this is no way. No way. Fish, get out of my hand. Okay. Like, you'll, you'll, you'll totally just see people just, like, come up to you and just, like, hey, welcome to Neos. Let me show you some cool stuff. <laughs> so there's a lot of cool, funky, cool, neat, awesome things that you can do in Neos, and it's a lot of fun. But this has been, like, a good first day tutorial to kind of, like, get into Neos and kind of just get used to stuff. If you want to do full body stuff, I recommend just either finding me or somebody else who's comfortable with it and setting it up for you because it's... It's really handy and really easy to set up, but there's some nuances you might want to be comfortable with or have somebody else mess with it because it may not be comfortable to you at the first get-go. But anyway, have a good day, guys. Thank you for watching, and if you ever have any questions, let me know. I'll probably update this at some point in the future, or if the team has a better tutorial to just kind of, like, introduce people, we can do that. And I'll just get rid of this, and it's not necessary. But we need something like this for right now until stuff is made. 
because we have to wait out for everything else to be finished. So yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you and have a good day.